Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, we are going to solve a section D question from Arithmetic Progressions chapter, which had appeared in CBSE Board Exam 2023. How many terms of the arithmetic progression, whose sequence is 45, 39, 33, and so on, must be taken so that their sum is 180? Explain the double answer. So let us try to understand the question first. Here we have been given that there is a sequence that follows arithmetic progression. So the sequence is 45, 39, 33 and so on. And we can see that this is a decreasing sequence as the number is decreasing at each step. But the hint given here is the sum of all these terms is going to be 180. Now here we need to find out how many terms are there. There can be 10 terms, 20 terms and so on. So to begin with, let us write down the data which is given in the question. So here a1 represents the first term of the sequence, which is 45. And D represents the common difference, that is second term minus the first term. So we have written here 39 minus 45 will give us negative 6. And the sum of N terms is given as 180. So we have written SN is equal to 180. And N is the number of terms in the sequence, which we need to find. So this is the given data. Next, since the sum is mentioned in the question, we are going to make use of the sum of n terms of an AP formula. So let me write here. So the sum of first n terms of an AP is given by the formula Sn is equal to n over 2, where n represents the number of terms, times 2 times a1, where a1 is the first term of the sequence, plus n minus 1 times d. d is the common difference. Now the next step is just substitution of the values we know in this formula. So we have, so in place of Sn we have replaced its value that is 180 is equal to n over 2 times 2 times in place of a1 we have written its value which is 45 plus n minus 1 times the common difference is negative 6. Now here let us take 2 on the other side of equal to sign so that it multiplies with 180. And here we have in the next step, 2 times 180 gives us 360 is equal to n times, now 2 times 45 gives us 90. And here we are going to expand this bracket, that is negative 6 multiplies with positive n, giving us negative 6n. And negative 6 multiplies with negative 1, giving us positive 6. Now here the next step is we are going to add the 90 with 6 which gives us 360 is equal to n times 90 plus 6 gives us 96 minus 6n. Now let us expand this bracket that is n multiplies with 96 and n multiplies with negative 6n. So we have in the next step 360 is equal to n times 96 is 96n and n times minus 6n is 6n square. Now let us take these two terms on the left hand side. So negative 6n square becomes positive 6n square, positive 96n becomes negative 96n and positive 360 stays as it is and this will be equal to 0. Now if we look carefully at this equation, all the numbers are divisible by 6. So here to make this equation simpler, we are going to divide all the numbers by 6. So we have 6n square over 6 minus 96n over 6 plus 360 over 6 and the same thing we do on the right hand side that is 0 over 6. Now this step is an additional step. If you know how to factorize this equation you can go ahead but if you like to simplify the equation and proceed then you can use this step. So here the 6 from the numerator divides the 6 from the denominator. Now 6 1 times and 6 16 times is 96 and 6 1 times is 6 and 6 60 times is 360. And here 0 divided by 6 gives us 0 itself. So let us write down the simplified equation now. So we have here n square minus 16n plus 60 equal to 0. Now we can factorize this equation. That is we have to find out the factors of 60 in such a way that when we multiply those two factors we have to get 60 and when we add them we should get negative 16. So the easiest factors for 60 is 6 and 10. So here if we multiply them we are going to get 60. But here we need negative 16. So we can just write negative 6 and negative 10. Because when we add these two numbers, we get negative 16. So here we have split the middle term and written in its factor form. That is n square minus 10n minus 6n plus 60 equal to 0. Now here let us split up these four terms as two groups. That is first two terms is one group and the last two terms are 
second group. Now in the first two terms we have n as a common factor. So we have pulled out n and in the bracket remains 1n from the first term minus 10 from the second term. Now from the second group we are going to pull out negative 6. So negative 6 and in the bracket we have n minus 10 equal to 0. Now here we get two factors. The first factor is n minus 10 and the second factor is n minus 6. That is once we pull out n minus 10 we get the second factor. Now we are going to equate each factor independently to 0. So we have here n minus 10 equal to 0 and n minus 6 equal to 0. Now taking negative 10 on the other side of equal to sign we get n equal to 10 and similarly taking negative 6 on the right hand side we get n equal to positive 6. So as we can see here we have got double values for n. So n can be either 6 terms or it can be 10 terms. Now what does this mean? Because they have asked us in the question to explain what does the double answer mean. So let us come back over here and write down all the terms of the sequence. So here we have written all the terms of the sequence starting at 45, then 39, then 33 as it was given in the question. And from there on we have subtracted 6 from each term because negative 6 was a common difference. So here 33 minus 6 gave us 27, 27 minus 6 is 21 and so on. And if we see here, I have taken 10 terms that is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 and 10. So this represents the first value of n which we have got, n equal to 10. And if we add these values, we are going to get 180. So you can cross verify over here for n equal to 10. Now for n equal to 6, we are going to discard the last 4 values because the addition of all these 4 numbers is going to be 0. So here I have represented the sequence this way. The first 6 terms are going to remain same. Now the last 4 terms that is 9 plus negative 9 gives us 0 and 3 plus negative 3 gives us 0. So basically we do not have to include these last 4 terms. So here we can write the sequence just as 45, 39, 33, 27, 21 and 15. Now if you add all these numbers again you will get a sum of 180 which gives us n equal to 6. So this is our justification. This is the reason why n can be either 6 or n can be either 10. So here we have written we get two values of n as sum of 7th term till 10th term becomes 0. So if we consider these numbers n will be equal to 10 and if we remove these numbers the sum will be still 180 but the number of terms will be 6. Now writing this conclusion becomes a very important step because it carries half a mark in the exam because it is specially asked in the question why we get double values of n. So remember to write this conclusion. I hope you have understood all the steps and liked the video and if you found this video useful then you can click on these playlists where you will find more examples of these kind. And if you are liking my videos, like, share and subscribe to my channel and thank you for watching.